I think journalists are the victims of a, a public and political and religious discourse which actually is seeing hate speech being used to promote and incite intense hatreds and actually violence between communities. And journalists are rather caught in the middle. Uh, they have to report what's being said, particularly by community leaders such as politicians or religious leaders. Uh, and when they report that, sometimes that, that infuriates and enrages uh, uh, the, the people who are against these groups and as a result of that, that the journalists themselves become victims. And journalists actually sometimes get attacked and are threatened just for uh, trying to promote tolerance and trying to promote the interests of minorities. The first thing that journalists have to do is to learn to be careful and sensitive in their handling of stories where there are strong opinions and, and tensions around. We, we have to be very careful about the words we use and the images we use so that what we don't do is to stir up discontent and stir up confrontation between communities. We have to be particularly careful when we're reporting on religious affairs. And we also have to make sure that, that we are, when, when we're reporting the rights of minorities, what we don't do is fall into the trap that's laid by many politicians who identify minorities such as migra migrants or asylum seekers or people from ethnic minorities as being this uh, as using them as scapegoats for problems that exist in society what we're trying to do is to help journalists by providing them with tools and ideas about how they can identify hate speech um, so the five-point test for hate speech is designed to help journalists identify what is potentially hateful and the fact of the matter is it, journalists have to be have to identify words and images and, and analyze them to make sure that they're not um, supporting propaganda or hate speech.